Hello, and welcome back to Writing Fighting. This week, we're gonna show some interesting fencing tricks. But before I can teach you the tricks, I have to teach you why they work. Because we're talking about writing, not necessarily about fighting. So the first thing I'm gonna to describe today is why double kills are very common with inexperienced fighters, and how two people stab each other very often without defending themselves. So let's have a look at that. So here we go. This is my clever assistant, Elizabeth, and we're both going to die. This is a pretty common situation. We both take up a guard, and I make a deceptive move, and when Elizabeth loses my blade, she just stabs at me, and everyone dies. One of the problems of being deceptive, especially at center line, with the later period Renaissance swords, is that panicked beginners don't bother parrying. They just kill you, and you're dead, even though you deceived their blade. That can happen very frequently. There's another kind of double kill, where the two people make a simultaneous decision to attack. And you're both dead. This happened a lot in real duels. Inexperienced people have these reflex actions. It takes training to realize you need to parry before you make your attack. It takes training to pick that up, parry, and then make some other move. It takes, you attack me, training to gather the blade before you make your attack. And let me say this is exactly as true with a longsword. I don't have a longsword in my hand right now, but if I deceive her on center line with a cut that becomes a thrust and she thrusts at me, we're both dead. It's a big problem and it's something worth writing about. Beginners don't know they should parry. See you tomorrow.